Do spiders poo? That's a really good question. So Boyle Sports conducted a poll of the best pundits in English football. And this were the results. Now I can't help but feel this vote was hijacked maybe by United fans. But this is how the results came in. According to Boyle Sports survey, the highest rated pundit was Gary Neville. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I have my moments with Gary. I've got my moments where I push back on him. But I will always say the man is a good pundit when he isn't stirring shit. So no problem with that. But number two on the list? Guys, come on. Roy Keane. Somebody, I'm supposed to believe that Roy Keane is the second best pundit on English TV. I'm not having it. He's nowhere near the top 10, let alone second best. Third on the list, Alan Shearer, then Ali McCoist. And let's be honest, Ali McCoist deserves to be higher up on that list. Ali McCoist is a brilliant pundit. Next on the list is Thierry Henry. And again, I think Thierry's a fine pundit when he's not being a cheating SOB handling the ball for France. I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. And uh, then it's Mika Richards. So they've obviously lost the plot completely here. But this is the one that really got me right. Next on the list is two former Liverpool players side by side. They they say Jamie Carragher gets 5.72% of this vote. But how on earth has Jamie Redknapp got 5.39%? There's no world that we can say that Jamie Redknapp and Jamie Carragher as pundits are anywhere near on the same level. Jamie Carragher is a way, way, way better pundit than Jamie Redknapp and gives us far more insight into the game and, and doesn't try to sell us sketchers at every opportunity. Uh, then it's Peter Crouch, Rio Ferdinand. And I feel Ferdinand's a bit low on the list as well, to be honest with you. Sometimes when I'm watching him on the BT uh, sports shows in the Champions League, you get really good insight from Ferdinand on defensive situations. And then on the list is Graeme Souness, Alex Scott, Danny Murphy, Jermaine Genus, Emma Hayes. Now look, that's obviously nonsense as well. Emma Hayes at 1.65%. Come on now. If any of you have ever listened to Emma Hayes, you will know that the woman knows her onions around football. And I could listen to her talk football all day, to be honest with you. So to see Emma Hayes that far down the list as well is, is weird. Karen Carney is bottom of the list with Owen Hargreaves. But there's no Michael Owen on the list, which I found quite strange. And also no Ian Wright on the list. Why no Ian Wright? Ian Wright's a brilliant pundit. He's not on the list. But look, I disagree with Alan Shearer being so high up, I've no problem with it. I think Alan Shearer gives good insight at times. Although I do disagree with him on Liverpool stuff a lot of the time. But to have Roy Keane second, all you've done there, folk, who voted in this poll, all you've done is encourage Sky to, um, to, to keep putting Roy Keane on the TV now. That's going to actually make them think that we all like Roy Keane's punditry. He's shite. He's terrible. Awful. One of the worst. Really good footballer, absolutely one of the best Irish players to ever put on a football shirt. But as a pun that he gives nothing other than abuse or criticisms. I don't ever hear him explain that. But look, that's that list anyway. You can have a look at it in your own time if you get a chance. Do spiders poo? That's a really good question. I, I need the answer to that now. Do spiders poo? That's a damn good question. I, I need to know. Oh, they liquefy their food. Ah, there you go. See, you, li you learn something new every day. So, here we go. Marco Silva looks very nervous. Right, Liverpool playing from right to left in the first half. Let's get ready to go. We're on their way. We are underway. The ball goes back. And, of course, we do the decent thing and launch the ball long out left-hand side. We're full in the first header and it goes out for Liverpool throw. Ball spread out to Diaz. Yes, Lucho. What control. Go on. Oh, it trickles in. We'll take it. 1-0. Lucho with the goal. Oh, we love that. Beautiful bit of control from Lucho. And Leno will be kicking himself because it wasn't that powerful a shot. I took a little nick. Leno didn't get there and the ball gets over the line. And it is Liverpool that take the lead on the night. 3-1 now on aggregate. Lucho has started to show that end product that we've been screaming for. But I tell you what, the ball from Kwanzaa, I think it was, and the control from Lucho were absolutely exceptional. Look at this. Is it Kwanzaa? Or is it... Look at that ball from Jarrell Kwanzaa. That's delicious. And the leap from Lucho, the control, and then he cuts inside. Leno's got to do better. But do I care? Not a jot. There we go. It is 1-0. And you know what you can do? You can't blame it on the sunshine. You cannot blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on Lucho. Or if you're a Fulham fan, very much so on Leno. Oh, he should have been doing better, lads. If that's our keeper, I'm having I'm having words. Here's Darwin. Oh, off the post, Diaz. It's in. Is the flag up? Flag's up. Mm. <sighs> Flag's up. Let's have a look. It won't matter because there's no VAR, but yeah, correct. It's fair play to the linesman. Cleared by Liverpool. Fulham have a back, though, down the line. Oh, skins Bradley. Ball across. One all. 1-1. One, one. Diop with the goal. Not much Bradley could do. Or excuse me. Not much Kelleher could do about that. To be fair. It was from almost no distance. But now this is where it gets a bit nervy. 1-1. One, one. We still have that one goal buffer. But it's going to get a bit tasty now for the next 15 minutes or so. How is that wasting time compared to any other goal kick in the game? You little gimp. 
That's a nonsense yellow card, by the way, from Hooper to Kelleher. 30 seconds to go. We are moments away from Liverpool reaching Wembley, taking on Chelsea in the cup final. Keep him out there, Joe. That's it. Keep him out there. Offside free kick Liverpool. That'll do. That, my friends, will be that. That's it, Lino. You tell him to piss off, mate. Ah, shut up, Wilson. And that, my friends, is that. Simon Hooper puts the whistle to his lips. The Reds are off to Wembley. 1-1 on the night. 3-2 on aggregate. Liverpool get the job done. We will take on Chelsea in the League Cup final at Wembley. The first of hopefully a little bit of uh, silverware to come our way, although we're not quite there yet to uh, be lifting it, but we're in the right place. Job done. Job done. We'll take that. Let me just stop the clock. So yes, Liverpool confirmed in the final. Lucha with the goal tonight. Fulham came back with a goal from Diop, but Liverpool seen out the game quite well, and we will take on Chelsea in the League Cup final. Which feels a bit like deja vu, but hopefully the result ends up the same way. Another final for the Reds under Jurgen, and fingers crossed, another bit of silverware. And uh, that'll do very much.